Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can legitimately access Microsoft Office for free. What I'm gonna show you is gonna be focused on using a Windows PC, but you can also use this trick on a Mac as well. Of course, if you do like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you're gonna supercharge to raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see here that we are on uh, the internet and we're just simply going to head over to office.com one thing I will note is that what I'm gonna show you is actually how to use the Office on the web version. So this won't work if you are offline, but it will work perfectly if you are connected to the internet. So just one caveat here is that this is an online only version, very similar to using Google Docs. Uh, so from here, you can actually see from office.com, you have two options. One is to sign in, which is to sign into your Microsoft account. And the other is to get Microsoft uh, 365. Microsoft 365 is the paid version where you get the desktop applications as well, but we're looking at getting Office for free today. So instead of going through Microsoft 365, we're gonna go and hit the sign in button instead. And then I'm just gonna sign in with my username and password. If you don't have a Microsoft account, it is really easy to set one up, uh, but in this instance, I already have one, so I'm just gonna sign in. And then you can see we have now signed in to Microsoft 365. Uh, from here, you can see it's gonna walk us around. It's gonna show us uh, where we can actually add some pin favorites, so documents we access all the time. It's gonna show us all of our content on the left-hand side. And then you can see you actually have, it's really cool that you have this button at the top, which is all the applications you have access to for free. So your Outlook, your OneDrive, uh, Teams for free, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, your to-do list, family safety, and if you're into uh, designing and things like that, you have ClipChamp for video editing and to designer for uh, basically, uh, it's a it's an AI tool to create images and things like that. And there's a button here that says all apps and all of this is free. So if we hit on the all apps button, you can actually see you get so much for free, not just Microsoft, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but there are all these applications here that you don't have to pay for at all. So I'm just gonna click anywhere to get out of this. I'm gonna navigate you through this just a little bit. On the left-hand side, you can hit the Create button. And this is going to show you all the things you can create, like a form or a Word document or Excel and PowerPoint. So you can see all of this is for free. You're not paying for anything. Uh, and there is, let's skip that for now. Uh, there's so much you can create on the web. Uh, using your documents, your PowerPoints, forms, quizzes, even videos with ClipChamp. And if you wanted to quickly access any of these, you have the hotkeys on the left-hand side, quickly go to Microsoft Word, for example. You can see here it is actually showing me some of the documents that I've already accessed. And this is everything that I've accessed online, as well as some templates up here where I can create some new ones from a blank document. There are, of course, premium templates, or if we select on See More, it will show us a range of templates that are available uh, that we can create for free. If we go down to say Excel, for example, again, same sort of thing, we can create a brand new blank Excel workbook. It's just gonna open up in a new tab. Whoa. That broke for some reason. Uh, first time I've actually seen it break, but that's okay. Uh, you can see we've created a brand new Excel workbook and it's just using Excel on the web. And this is actually fantastic because it gives you a lot of the core features that most people need uh, for a general home use. Uh, and then of course, if you go in the My Content section on the left-hand side, it's gonna show you all of the, uh, all of the content saved on your OneDrive as well. Uh, but I'm gonna show you another tip, which is, so this is the free version. But if you wanted to access this on a nicer way instead of always logging online, you can actually press the start button on your PC, type in Office, and you have Microsoft 365 bracket Office. This is the new logo, which is a desktop application. Once it loads up, you see it's a very similar, let's bring that 50-50, oh, actually that won't let me do it for whatever reason. It's okay, I'll open this up. Um, you can see it's a very similar layout, but down the bottom, it's actually an application here. Uh, so it's just, you can right click and you can pin this to your taskbar. If you right click, you can actually quickly access a new Word, PowerPoint, or Excel document. Um, and then you can go ahead and use the programs from here. Create a brand new blank document if you wanted to. Because I have the programs installed on my computer, it's also trying to load 
or launch those programs. But if you didn't have them installed, it would actually just go and create the brand new document from here. The difference between using the uh, version here against just the version online is that if you have any documents that are stored locally on your PC, using the Office application that is installed, so this one here that we have open right now, it would also show those documents here under recent because it shows you where the files are saved. When you're using the version saved on your PC, it also shows you the locally stored documents as well. If you ever wanted to upgrade to the full version and get the downloadable applications, in the top right hand corner, uh, it gives you the option, let's actually jump to Word, it gives you the option of buy M365. So this would take you to the page where you could pay and get the full desktop applications or from the home tab, you have the option of install apps or buy M365, which again will give you the option to pay an upgrade. But for most people at home, you get so much now for free if you use your Hotmail or your Outlook account. Uh, because as we just showed under the application sections, you get so much here um, that really the free stuff is amazing for just general home users. The one thing I would say though, is that if you are using OneDrive to back your files up, you are limited here to only five gigs, but that's okay if you are storing it locally on your hard drive. And of course, the other thing is that if you are offline, this actually won't work for you. So I'm actually going to disconnect my Wi-Fi right now. And then you can see here, it says you're offline, only the apps you've installed and files stored locally on your computer are available. So one of the downsides of using the free version like this is that if you don't have your application stored on your PC, uh, you can't actually use any of these programs when you're offline. And of course, if you're only using files saved on OneDrive, again, same sort of thing, you can't access it unless you have internet access. But if you feel like you have internet access basically all of the time, you're working from home, uh, or you just, you're always connected to your, to your Wi-Fi, this really isn't an issue for you. Simply go ahead, connect to your Wi-Fi, and then you see that this warning sign here, once your computer is reconnected to the internet, will disappear. And then you can go ahead and you can use Microsoft 365 for free, as long as you're connected to the internet. These programs don't have all of the tens of thousands of features as the paid for version, but in my opinion, that's okay for general home use because if you're just creating a simple Word document or an Excel or a PowerPoint, this gives you more than enough to get started. And I actually think it is a lot of great value that you get for free. So there you go. That is how you can use Microsoft 365 for free uh, by simply using either the online version office.com and that office.com version is gonna work for PC or Mac as long as you're connected to the internet. And if you have a Windows PC, you can make the experience even better by downloading the Microsoft 365 Office app from the Windows Store and you get a nicer interface, which you yeah, get the application installed on your PC. And the installed app can also find programs that are, uh, sorry, not programs, but find files that are locally installed, not just things that are saved on OneDrive. So there you go. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.